I only want to do what I see the father doing. So when it comes to unconditional love and boundaries, the, my boundary is I'm not going to step outside of what the father is doing or wanting me to do if someone else asked me to do something. I wouldn't be loving them if I did something that the father didn't want me to do. So I am not going to be pressured or feel guilty or condemned for not doing something. Um, the reason that I would have of saying no was the father didn't want me to do it. And I would always check out with the father. Is this something you're doing? Is this something that I can cooperate with that you're doing? And I'm discern from what he says, whether I'm going to get involved with something or do something or not. Some people were always asking you to do things um, for their own reasons and their own motives. And I would not do them just because they asked. Um, it doesn't mean I love them any less, but I wouldn't be helping them if I got in, got contradicted what God was doing in their lives. Therefore, if someone even asked me to help them out of a situation, whether it be a financial situation or another situation, and God was working within that situation in their lives, then me helping them out of it would not be cooperating with what God was doing. So I need to be very careful. I'm not operating purely out of compassion or out of any sense of manipulation that anyone might do to try and get me to do something, I'm going to check it out with the father before I make any decision. Therefore, you know, when you say the two reasons for not doing it would be, I can't support it with my conscience, well, or consciousness, well, yes, that is true. If you do not feel comfortable or do not feel at peace, generally that's because the father is not giving you that peace. Now, it's not being, you don't have to judge their motives or be judgmental of why they're asking. You just have to make sure that what you're doing is operating out of love, but out of what the father is doing and not what someone just wants you to do. The second thing, you can't do it for time, resource reasons. Well, if the father wants you to do it, he'll give you all the time and resources to be able to do it. So that's not a reason not to do it, but it's also not a reason to do it um in that way so if i have the time and resources i still might not do it because the father didn't want me to do it but i might not have the time and resources but the father does want me to do it then he needs to provide the time and resources or i can legislate for those time and resources to become available so then i can use them for the purpose that the father wants me to use them so sometimes yes we might have a limitation in our own thinking that can stop us helping someone or doing something um, but that limitation is only there if the father wants us to. It's not a limitation if he doesn't want us to. So in this, relationship is the key. Discerning the father's heart, living face to face, being able to know what the father's heart is in any situation and not making assumptions that, well, this is the right thing to do because it's a good thing before checking out jesus only did what he saw the father doing and it's clear that in the three and a half years of ministry that jesus was public the activated in he didn't heal everybody or raise everyone from the dead he healed all that came to him because the father obviously gave him that mandate but he didn't raise everyone from the dead there's only a record of a few people he raised from the dead therefore thousands must have died in israel during that period or in jerusalem or nazareth but she obviously didn't heal. So there's a sense where just be careful. You don't feel pressured by people. You don't make assumptions that God would want you to do something because it's a good thing, but you're just clear that you only really are operating out of that relationship you have with the father. Don't feel guilty or condemned or don't make someone be pressurize you into do something through guilt or condemnation, you know, or manipulation, be free to only do what you feel the father doing and feel that he is with you in that and he will strengthen you and encourage you to enable you to operate in unconditional love but of course unconditional love is an expression of what is the best that god has for somebody sometimes only god knows that and we shouldn't try to interfere with what god is doing but just be open and he'll show you what it is that you can be at peace about doing in any situation. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.